But we eventually we reached to a point that the good news is good news for the market and bad news is bad news. But right now we are in this transition period that everybody is expecting that, you know, because the most important force right now in the market is the Federal Reserve. The All right, good morning everybody. Andrew Aziz here from P Capital Trading. We had a really, really good trading day actually. Surprisingly, the day was amazing. So there was two, two numbers came in. The first one was PPI, pricing purchase indicator, and this, which was at 8.30, that causes market volatility a little bit. And then at 10 a.m., it was the consumer sentiment index that came in. That I don't know exactly what these numbers mean and what the impact on the uh, uh, on the market, but we as a trader we look at the price action and see which direction this sentiment is going to take the market. You know, right now we are in the environment of the good news is bad news for the market, but because the good news for the economy means that the economy hasn't slowed down enough to, to inflation comes down. Therefore, the Feds might start you know being more hawkish and increasing the interest rate be more aggressive, the financial tightening. But we eventually we reached to a point that the good news is good news for the market and bad news is bad news. But right now we are in this transition period that everybody is expecting that, you know, because the most important force right now in the market is the Federal Reserve. And the uh, interest rates are the most powerful uh, tool that is making the market up and down. Not always like that when the rates are stable, uh, you know, the economic and macroeconomics and fundamentals of the companies are going to impact the market. But right now, it's just the hawkish Federal Reserve is just trying to slow down the economy. And you might be surprised at why economies should be slowed down. But the, because of the inflation, you know, if it's too good and if everyone is too happy, too rich, then the supply chains cannot sustain that. And then the inflation comes in. So, you know, in all... You know, it's a little bit of a counterintuitive and sad that not everybody should be really rich. Not everyone should have a really good time because it's just the whole macroeconomy cannot sustain that. And it's a little bit of a sad thing when you look at it, that why not everyone is having a good time, but it is what it is. Um, but <clears throat> so Tesla had a really good trading day uh, run up this morning. Uh, so I traded successfully DocuSign and NVIDIA. So DocuSign is a company, is a digital company uh, for signature and stuff. So it's a public company. Uh, had earning last night. It was gapping up. The open uh, sold off a, a little bit pre-market. And now we're looking at it uh, uh, in the morning for the first couple of minutes. I really didn't trade. Came above the VWAP, squeezed above the VWAP. I went long. Actually, the first trade was a mistake of hotkey, but it turned out to be a really good trade. Uh, popped up above the high of the day and I added more 48 the volume picked up and went all the way up to 51 11 I think I eventually got that all the way up to 51 11 also I added in this consolidation at around 50 so it turned out to be a very very nice trading day uh, Nvidia was also an opening range breakout so <clears throat> the first trade that I did on uh, Nvidia I actually wanted to get in on Nvidia a little bit earlier that's why by mistake I jumped into DocuSign but uh, still, the volume was coming, a squeeze was happening, so I went long again at 172.60 all the way up to 174, and got stopped out at the break even. I never really touched that again after the market bounced back. You know, they, they had that uh, move up as well. So that was a really good trade on uh, NVIDIA and DocuSign. Markets uh, had one push up on TQQ, which I got as well. Again, really nice uh, consolidation came above for red to green uh, TQQ from 2115 all the way up to 2135. I was hoping to get to this moving average, it didn't. Came down, I got a stopped out of the break even. A little bit of see this volatility that is happening right at 10 p.m. You know, I, to be honest with you, I don't know, and I don't want to know what, what is the impact of the market. As a trader, my job is not to analyze the fundamentals of the numbers you just have to wait and see what the price action is telling you some good news bad news bad news good news you don't know which, which environment you are in there right now and tesla was another one that uh, i'm still in there long <coughs> it was a little bit uh, unfortunate i got stopped out a couple of times on that but eventually it started running up and i'm uh, making the losses back on that tesla was really strong at the open uh, even though market wasn't a strong tesla was really open uh, it was a really amazing 920 trade 920 trade is a trade book that brian is teaching us you know a strong stock coming back to the 20 moving average you, it's a good entry but i didn't miss the 923 i did miss the, the 920 trade 
uh, eventually I tried to catch this uh, <clears throat> uh, consolidation breakout and I did but unfortunately you know I got chopped up a little bit on that I eventually come out of it at the break even so that was it so that was a really really good trading day for me uh, surprisingly on a Friday of the December uh, market was really good that was amazing uh, Brian I know you had a really amazing trade on Lee so before you get in there uh, Brian has a uh, 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 uh this one is a right uh, is it there uh what was the name of this trade book well it's a rising devil trade but it um yeah but in and it is i always say the last couple of minutes before the open the last two minute bars before the opener are a tell as to which which direction the the stock's going to trade in and you can see here it really started to get weak in those last two minutes and that's uh i jumped in on it because i've seen these these candles, these big candles before, and it just immediately, it just sold off. So I got in at, uh, at 22.70 and, and uh, took the last bit off around uh, just under 21 there. Yeah, I get exactly 21. know that this Rising yeah. Devil, if you want to do the recap for you, Brian. So the last two minutes, so Rising Devil is a stock that is gapping down. Lee's down, was down 8%. The last two, three minutes, Brian, usually look at the last two, three minutes before the market opened. This weakness is a sign for him that this is a weak uh, stock. So at the open, he's going shorting it. Again, remember, this is a stock that is down 9% because Rising Devil should be red. So, you know, just shorting it here and boop, that was a really nice drop, I remember. Sorry to interrupt. <coughs> Yeah, no, that's okay. And uh, the um, yeah, so that was uh, that was my first really good trade. And then uh, Chewy um, Chewy really started to break out here, broke through the view app, broke broke through uh, previous day close. So I just uh, I got long because I thought it was probably going to go through 44. So I got long 43.50 ish area and uh, just got it through 44. So that was another and like I said, another really good uh, trade. So, yeah, overall was um, two good trades and it's all you need. Yeah, overall, that was a really, really good trading day. Thank you so much for everybody. So one thing is that I created a page called uh, bearabletraders.com forward slash feedback. And in this, uh, if any one of you guys have any suggestion about the ideas for education center or for videos on YouTube, you can go to bearabletraders.com forward slash and you know you can just put some of the suggestions that you have like for example a couple of the examples that i put here anything that you want because we want to again we want to create more educational content for free in youtube but you know you give us help us what kind of questions you have and then we can create those videos for you over time carlos and i definitely can do that so bearabletraders.com forward slash feedback if you have any idea and suggestion you know instead of us going trying to see who's creating what and what video is going viral on youtube why not getting that feedback from the community and uh, yeah we appreciate uh, you know you like and subscribe in our channel and uh, beyond that I just uh, want to thank everybody so it was a really nice Friday and uh, Brian anything from you uh, no that's it everybody have a good weekend um, we'll see you next week and uh, yeah big big week next week CPI number and uh, and the Fed uh, decision on the uh, rate hike so yeah we'll see what happens Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day and uh, see you guys uh, soon. <clears throat>